Hello and welcome to this uh, new ATDI uh, video presentation. Uh, this specific session uh, today will focus on aeronautical capabilities uh, that can be found and used uh, with ICS Telecom and HTZ Warfare radio planning solutions. Uh, as you know, ICS Telecom is an all-in-one solution supporting all radio technologies uh, in a radio planning uh, solution. Uh, and the HTZ Warfare is uh, the sister solution, which is a superset uh, of ICS Telecom uh, with additional electronic warfare functions. Uh, we are going to look at the, the complementary solutions of ICS Telecom and HTZ Warfare, specifically focusing on aeronautical capabilities. The, what we call aeronautical capabilities basically consists of uh, additional functions that help uh, airport authorities, uh, civil aviation authorities or aeronautical equipment makers uh, to plan the network to manage uh, coexistence between services uh, and basically make uh, accurate calculations which is highly important in such environment. The first capability we, we uh, propose with ICS Telecom and uh, HTZ Warfare are aeronautical propagation models uh, following ITU recommendation uh, P528-2 uh, that has been uh, implemented over the years by ATDI. Not only implemented, uh, but a lot of uh, measurements, correlation analysis uh, have been done uh, in order to guarantee the accuracy of the models that are implemented. The second uh, additional capability uh, is high frequency module, HF module, uh, that is an embedded module in the ICS Telecom or HTZ Warfare that basically do calculations based on ITU recommendation uh, P533-10 and uh, recommendation 1240-1. Uh, the HF module helps managing uh, the high frequency uh, antennas, uh, allow to do calculation uh, worldwide to display signal to noise maps, uh, to perform uh, statistics calculation and basically define maximum usable frequency uh, and a frequency of optimal trans transmission. Multilateration uh, module is also uh, an integrated module in ICS Telecom and HTZ Warfare uh, that basically helps uh, airport authorities, civil aviation authorities uh, to model interrogators, sensors, uh, networks that are used um, to send and receive signals in order to, to do accurate uh, geolocalization of aircrafts. And the last uh, significant uh, feature uh, linked to aeronautical capabilities is the support of the ITU recommendation SM1009 that basically helps uh, managing uh, coexistence and interference uh, in the FM band. So in terms of applications, uh, these modules will help uh, managing uh, ground-to-air communications, air-to-air -air communications, and also, and you can definitely refer to uh, another video that we propose that focuses on uh, ICS telecom capabilities, helps managing uh, satellite communications. Of course, uh, radio communications and uh, to manage uh, primary secondary surveillance uh, radars. So in terms of uh, end-user application, we're talking about airspace coverage. With ICS Telecom and HTZ Warfare, we help uh, going through a frequency coordination process and also, for instance, uh, to do some UAV mission planning. And there are a lot of challenges uh, that need to be taken into account and solved, which definitely ICS Telecom and HTZ Warfare help. In terms of aeronautical propagation <clears throat> models, so uh, based on ITU recommendations implemented by ATDI, uh, we do manage uh, light of sight, uh, diffraction models, stratospheric um, models. Historically, uh, our implementation of aeronautical propagation models was initially based uh, on um, ITS IF77 uh, specification. And uh, it has been continuously uh, <clears throat> improved uh, uh, in order to be perfectly in phase uh, with uh, the recommendations. Uh, in terms of validation and qualification, a lot of uh, work has been done by ATDI and some of ATDI's partners uh, in order to come to the, with the most accurate implementation uh, of the recommendations and the, and the models. 
and uh, as you can see uh, campaigns of measurements uh, have been done and uh, you, you can see that uh, uh, today we, we come to a very narrow uh, error distribution uh, of the propagation models, uh, thus resulting uh, in an extremely uh, reliable uh, calculation methods uh, and functions. As mentioned in, in the list of aeronautical capabilities, uh, support for uh, recommendation SM1009 uh, helps uh, managing coordination uh, and coexistence interference with other services, which is obviously uh, a very high uh, level of requirement uh, from uh, airport uh, authorities, civil aviation authorities, and military airport authorities, of course. Generally speaking, uh, as you probably remember, uh, ICS Telecom and HTC Warfare do support all radio technologies uh, that are deployed uh, in the world or about to be deployed under specification uh, and basically helps managing not only uh, the planning and the optimization of a, a single network uh, but also to manage interference and coexistence uh, here highlighting for instance uh, w w which can be a significant uh, issue uh, at the uh, airport level uh, microwave links and, and wind farms uh, interference between each other and potentially on surveillance uh, radars. And the last uh, main capability we covered in terms of aeronautical capabilities is the multilateration model module, which is an embedded uh, function uh, in ICS Telecom and uh, HTZ Warfare. And now, at this point of time, I'm going to switch uh, to uh, I, a quick demonstration of ICS Telecom. Uh, for general capabilities of ICS Telecom, uh, you can definitely refer uh, to the related uh, video that will lead through all the menus, functions and capabilities of the tool. But here in this project, specifically uh, on, a, on a specific zone of interest, uh, we have modeled a, a network of uh, multilateration uh, interrogator and uh, a network of uh, multilateration uh, sensors. Those are basically objects uh, in ICS uh, Telecom, uh, as you can see, here is a configuration uh, window uh, of uh, a sensor, which is a, a specific technology signal in ICS Telecom, which can be configured either manually or automatically through imports of, uh, of data. And uh, <clears throat> in order to, to refresh memories, uh, we could definitely uh, manage any type of technologies within this uh, project, including multilateration interrogator sensors, uh, but uh, any type of transmitter or receiver, uh, or for instance, a radar or a microwave link or a satellite a station, for instance. Uh, on this zone of interest uh, surrounding uh, an airport, uh, we have this network of multilateration interrogator and sensors. Uh, we are able to select uh, the zone of interest which we want to do some calculation around. Uh, we have a dedicated multilateration uh, menu which uh, provides access to different types of calculation, uh, time difference of arrival, horizontal or vertical, time sum of arrival, horizontal or vertical, a mix of both and DME uh, accuracies. If we pick uh, one of them, uh, the user will have uh, the flexibility to uh, work at the uh, various altitudes uh, to input uh, radiated power, frequency, uh, the jitter uh, of the mobile, uh, in this case of the aircraft, uh, sensitivity, uh, the measurement error, uh, a minimum number of sensors, which is typically at least four, uh, some thresholds and some grid step for potentially accelerating uh, the calculation time. And ultimately, the multilateration module will basically <clears throat> output a map, a map where in each pixel uh, the accuracy of the geolocalization of the aircraft, uh, as you can see on the scale at the bottom, is expressed uh, in meters. So the, the lower the number, the most accurate is the estimate of the geolocalization of the aircraft. Um, any map in ICS Telecom or HTZ Warfare that can be uh, exported uh, in different formats. Uh, here we have a map of uh, multilateration uh, 
coverage uh, that has been exported uh, in, a, in a sort of a report uh, that basically shows again the accuracy uh, of the geolocalization of the aircraft in each point. Such reports can be generated and can also be uh, exported uh, in formats such as Google Earth, which uh, basically will allow to overlay uh, the coverage map of the multilateration calculation onto the latest uh, imagery. Uh, and for instance, typically, uh, this map has been exported um, to Google Earth in a transparent mode. Uh, and uh, when I'm launching uh, Google Earth, where you have here an ATDI uh, map uh, result, uh, we can definitely uh, go to the area we did the multilateration calculation, uh, and we end up in the same zone of interest. And uh, now you should definitely see uh, the coverage map uh, highlighted onto the map uh, with the multilateration sensors, which is a, a nice and convenient way uh, to generate some uh, nice reports uh, using the latest imagery. So the goal of this presentation was basically to highlight the main cap aeronautical capabilities of ICS Telecom and HTZ Warfare. Uh, again, high frequency module, which we see here embedded uh, into ICS Telecom uh, platform. Uh, aeronautical propagation models, uh, ITU recommendation SM1009 for managing interference coexistence uh, at the in the zone of interest of an airport, and multilateration capabilities, which we quickly demonstrated uh, in this with this project in ICS Telecom. So we definitely uh, encourage you potentially to uh, watch, if you haven't done so already, uh, other videos that have been uh, created uh, for you and posted onto our website and other supports, uh, focusing on ICS telecom capabilities, digital cartographic uh, options uh, and sources, uh, HTZ warfare for military application, and many other uh, spectrum management uh, related uh, topics. Again, we thank you for your attention. Uh, we have a lot of uh, resources on to our website at www.atdi.com, uh, product specifications, uh, white papers, brochures, and of course, should you have any specific questions or requests, uh, please feel free to send us an email at sales at atdi.com. Again, uh, we thank you uh, for your attention.